Hello, Epic 7 newbies. This is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about my seasonal trip to Masters to get the reward skin. For starters, I'm sorry this video is too late to help new players get their Sermia skin. I tried to get this made a few days ago, but work has been crazy lately. Now the season is over, but maybe this can help you get off on a good foot next season. Anyways, my video for getting to Masters last season for the Iceria skin was a disaster. It took me like three or four hours, and it was so frustrating that I immediately quit RTA as soon as I made Master Rank. You see, I have a waifu-only account, so I just never pull or build husbandos. It started off as a money and resource-saving thing, but now people just call me that waifu account weirdo. One good thing about having a waifu-only account is that, even though I've been playing for a couple of years, I can sort of relate to the newer players who don't have as many of those top meta units. You won't hear me complain though. I like a challenge. So how long did it take me to get to Masters this season? About 30 minutes. I went from placement to Masters in only 11 battles. Do I think I'm some sort of Grandmaster RTA player? No, that would be hilarious. This is only lowly ranked Masters after all. Since I was having fun, I decided to keep playing for a while. After about 35 games, I'm still at a 70% win rate, which is a ton better than last season where I was around 45% win rate. Even though I'm still in Masters, most of my games have been against challenger level opponents, so maybe I can give some new players a draft strategy that may get them through the lower ranks. Let me be clear, this likely won't work at higher ranks, so your mileage may vary. Anyways, the reason this draft might work well with new players is because I pick the same five heroes every battle, whether or not I'm first pick or second pick. I actually don't really care what my opponent picks because my draft style kind of throws them off guard anyways. So a new player doesn't need to build 20 heroes to be competitive. They can put their best tier gear on five heroes like I did and probably do okay. I feel like my draft style is popular but I never see it used against me, so now I'm not sure. I call it the cleave fake out. It's not actually my idea. When KHM was showing off his drafts, I saw variations of this from his opponents and that pointed me in the right direction. Pretty much every draft you do will be meta against meta, and it really sucks. That's the way I played last season, and it was a total slog. What you need to do is force the opponent into picking characters that are weak against the meta. It's easy. I draft two standard meta units, then transition to a hard cleave for pick three and four, then based on what the opponent picked, I can switch back to standard or continue the cleave. Let me be clear, the cleavers very rarely win the game for me. These top two units do most of the heavy lifting there. Cleavers are only here to just disrupt the draft and soften the team up. Let's see this live example. I pre-ban Zeo and Bunny Dom. This is a hint that I'm cleaving, but no one is going to waste their first pick on a hard anti-cleave unit. If you only have one pre-ban, I would probably just do Zeo. The waifus I take with my first two picks are Laia and Euphine. Both characters serve two purposes. They're ticking time bombs in case the enemy plays defensively, but they also bring awesome utility. Laia cleanses and lowers cooldowns, allowing your cleavers to get back into the fight pretty quickly. Euphine's CR cutting passive is actually a cleave stopper. Drafting her not only prevents your opponent from picking her against you, she's also so strong that they need to draft an answer to her. At this stage, they think you're not cleaving and proceed to draft according to their plan, and now it's my turn. Pira is my protected pick, followed by Requiem Rowana. Requiem Rowana is a must-have here. If I look around, there are other units you can easily substitute in at every spot except Rowana at 4. With Pira protected, this basically means Rowana is like Monk, but with very high damage and the same speed as the fastest character in the game. Sorry for that disturbing image. Having the opponent scramble to draft hard anti-cleave this late in the draft definitely messes up their team's synergy, allowing Laia and Euphine to do their thing. Most of the time their team will end up with two anti-cleave units, I pick Astro Elena and ban one of them. If for some reason the situation doesn't look great for cleave, I'll use the fifth pick on another meta unit like Candy or Senya and I'll let them keep their anti-cleavers. This is especially true if you aren't able to pre-ban Bunny and they pick her. Let them keep her and move back to meta standard. And there's a win. What alternative heroes can you use? For first and second pick, I think Laia and Euphine are the best. Other waifus I've had success with are Senya Gala, or Senya Spirit Eye Celine, or Laia Candy. 
For Husbandos, I'm sure Haste, Tywin, Genua, and DDR would work in any of these spots. For the protected cleaver, just bring your fastest AoE. Para is the best choice for me because she also brings mitigation to the table. Ran and Monk are good alternatives. SPP and Luna can work, but I doubt they'll be available this late in the draft. As I said earlier, I don't think there's a replacement for Requiem Rowana. If you can think of one, let me know. She is the unit that turns the enemy draft on its head. The final cleaver I like to use is Elena because she hits very, very hard. You can use a ton of cleavers in this spot though, like Summertime Iceria, Jacko, Silverblade Araminta. On the Husbando side, I guess Commander Pavel, Ludwig, the usual crew. If you bail on cleave with the last pick, just bring any of the meta units I mentioned in the first two picks. I've also had success with mitigation, like Siarmin or Albedo here. Anyways, I hope I can help a new player struggling to climb through the lower ranks. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.